Tender Bar is a coming-of-age drama directed by George Clooney, and it's getting a lot of buzz. The movie stars Ben Affleck and our movie guy, Paul McGuire Grimes, got the chance to talk with Ben about this movie. And as usual, Paul's movie collection became a topic of conversation. Check it out. Ben, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that Goodwill Hunting means the absolute world to me. It was a very special place in my heart, and I weep Thank every you. time I watch it. So th really nice. the history of this movie, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I like I the Blu-ray. You obviously you, bought a couple copies. Oh, of course. I got plenty of movies right here. I had to pull ah, look at that. <clears throat> this is all real, too, so thank you. Really? That's very impressive. Yeah. Of course, thank now you. it's like you don't need any of that. You can just stream it. It's very Oh, no. You, you buy these DVDs. It's great. <laughs> what do you want to be, JR? I'm going to be a writer. Well, what's your main theme? The absent father. Poor boy who wants a rich girl. Do you believe in luck? And when have you had lucky moments in your life? Yes, I definitely believe in, in luck, but I, I do think to some extent luck is spelled W-O-R-K. And I think that you can find yourself in moments of opportunity and, you know, um, you know, a situation in, in luck. Um, but if you don't capitalize, if you don't do your best to seize the opportunity, I think that you're not making the most out of it. Whose kid is that? My sister. Which sister? A hot one or a crazy one? What, you want to die? Now, Uncle Charlie's very much a mentor to JR, and I'm curious, who have been the mentors in your life, and what is it about them that have just left this lasting impression on you? I ha Listen, I had, it, I, I had it in both of my parents. I had an incredible mother and it was very wonderful to get to play a mother like this, having had a mother like I did. Daniel, I read that you have a love of Batman, and Batman is my favorite superhero, and you get to work with two Batmans in this movie. Did they give you any advice or any Batman secrets? Uh, ben gave me some advice on uh, how he memorizes his lines. He says, if, 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 the if the story makes sense, it's easy to remember. But if it's like something like Batman, you have to get all these intelligent words. It's hard. <laughs> OK, so Paul joins us now via Zoom. Paul, we're just chatting nonstop about Ben Affleck as we're learning more about this movie. That had to be a big deal to get to talk to him. Oh, he's, I mean, I've looked up to Ben for a long time, and I really love that he's in a really better place in his life right now. You know, sometimes we don't want to talk about people's personal lives, but you can just see it in his work. He is so much more, like, lively on screen and enjoyable to watch, and he gives such a wonderful performance in The Tender Bar. And it's based on a true story, too. Okay, do we like this movie? That's what we want to know. Yeah, I think I really enjoyed it. I mean, I think it's, you know, we could, a lot of people can relate to this. It's a story of family and this kid, JR, who's growing up with a single mom, being mentored and raised by his uncle, Charlie. That is the Ben Affleck character and how he kind of uses optimism to push through the hard times and really trying to find his voice. Now his uncle, Charlie, inspired him to be a writer and kind of go on to work for the New York Times. Okay, I think I want to see this. Does it feel like a classic Ben Affleck movie to you? Yes. Yes, it does. He's got that kind of attitude that we like from Ben, but you still are kind of rooting for him. He's got the softer side of Ben, too. We don't always often see him kind of play the, the softer character. He's got those paternal instincts, but he knows kind of when to put on the attitude that we like from Ben, too. Okay, so the Tender Bar is in theaters, and it's available on Amazon Prime. How many ticket stubs are you giving so it? Four to five ticket stubs for the Tender Bar. Wow, that's very good. Okay, wow. so Paul also got the chance to talk to the cast of an action movie called The 355. Let's look a little at that. The Old Wars. Cold War, War on Terror. We knew who we were fighting, but now the enemy is invisible. Now, I read that you were a ballerina as a kid. How important was that dance training to you? And how did you incorporate that into the fight choreography? It's a super, it's honestly, dancing as a kid has really helped me in so many aspects of my life. I mean, I am a bit clumsy, so, <laughs> <laughs> but. I think, you know, it just helped me kind of like my brain and my body connect with like, oh, if I think to do this, then my body knows what to do. We're the top agents from around the world. American, British, German, Colombian, Chinese. How do you decide what stunts do you actually want to like attempt and take on versus letting a stunt double do it? The whole idea is always to do as much yourself as you can. Um, so all the fight scenes, uh, that was definitely Jessica and I, that was more very sort of choreography that you learn. Does the fight choreography and the action sequences just come easier given the history that you've had with Marvel and Bucky? Or does it feel like an all new workout with the choreography in this film? Well, it's always different in the sense when you're opposite somebody you've never worked with before and then you're having to really trust each other and, and learn how the other person moves. And because and, it's always about distance and kind of guessing a little bit of 
what, what, what the next moment is. But obviously you're rehearsing it over and over and over again until you get it so in your system that you can feel like you're actually improvising in the moment, if you will. I like the new team. We're the 355. This one's cool. It's in theaters. Yes, look at that, Paul. Okay, what do we think about this movie? You know, I think if you're just looking for really easy entertainment, I mean, this is a spy thriller and has a fun concept, seeing all these really great women, do, you know, battling these bad guys, globe-trotting adventure from London to Paris to Morocco to Shanghai. So on a kind of a surface level, it's it's fun. I do think that the writing is kind of generic. Like, none of these characters really stand out really unique from the other ones. And if you know your spy genre, you can kind of see the plot twist coming ahead. You know, so it wasn't, it's not the best spy thriller, but it's a great cast and you can see the chemistry there. Well, yeah, they all look super hot, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why absolutely. you're like, look at all this. Here's another hot person. <laughs> another would, you hot person. would you call them smoke shows? Smoke shows I've heard 100%. you say that a few Don't times. You, you know what? Maybe yeah. this one's more about the action, though. You know, it's kind of a, <laughs> a, fun, a fun one to watch. Fun movie. OK, how many tickets, stubs? So two and a half out of five ticket subs. I like, you know, I kind of wish they were in better material. Like I would like to see them again and maybe amp up these characters, amp up the story a little bit more. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's talk about Betty White, because of course the legendary actress passed away at the age of 99 on December 31st. So, okay, you have a little bit of a rundown for us on where you can stream some of her work this weekend. And I, you know, I talk about this a lot on my talk 1071 whenever we talk about someone passing, like the legendary Sidney Poitier today. Oh, um, talking yeah. about their, these people's careers and looking at their passing as an opportunity to really appreciate what they left us with. So what do you want us to remember about Betty White? I mean, talk about someone who always looked for joy and positivity and laughter in life. So if you want to try to be inspired by her, you can find her great TV shows on streaming. So if you go to Hulu, this is going to be your best place to find all of the Mary Tyler Moore show. That's where she played Sue Ann Nivens, the kind of spicy homemaker that she was. You know, and that, you know, recently we lost, lost people like at Ed Asner and Cloris Leachman. So you could, you know, you could cover a lot with watching the Mary Tyler Moore show. And then you have... One of my favorite sitcoms, The Golden Girls, also on Hulu, where she played the lovable, somewhat dim-witted, if you would say, Rose Nyland. She's got some great back and side all of stories. So if you, I will laugh at every episode of The Golden Girls, no matter how many times I see them. We literally fall asleep to The Golden Girls every night. So that's on Hulu. And if you never saw her episode of Saturday Night Live from May 2010. It's a classic. You know, they just re-aired it the other night. That is yeah. also on Hulu and Peacock, and she hosted in her 80s. And it's like, in her wit, her comic, her timing is all there. That she, is good stuff. She brought the house down. Yeah. I remember, it That's was fantastic. fantastic. So, Paul, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, you can visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com for updates on movies and streaming services. And then you can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 every Friday. Or watch him on his YouTube channel, also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. Smash that subscribe button, as they say. <laughs> That's what they say on the old YouTube. There you go. TCL's Movie Trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. You can get your home just ready and refreshed by visiting one of Muska's showrooms in Roseville or Eden Prairie. They are ready and waiting to help you find the best fit for you. Ahead of four, biscuits plus donuts. What? A potentially life-changing combination. We're staying here. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's Movie Trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.